Maggie, how'd you like to go camping? No, thanks. There's a river that Opti and I used to love to fish. I, I don't know how to fish. Well, I could teach you. We'll catch trout and sleep under the stars. Just you and me. What do you say? What about Jack? Well, Jack and Mom could meet us later, at the end. I think a little time apart might be just what we need. And who knows, maybe, maybe things will be different. Maybe even better. Really? Sure. Why not? Is that a promise? Absolutely. Pinky promise? <laughs> Pinky promise. Open the window, honey. Breathe some fresh air. Dad, put on your seatbelt. You're not going to nag me the whole way, are you? If I have to. When are we going to get there? Where? Wherever we're going first. Kennebec River. Where's that? It's where I learned to fly fish. It'll be a little while yet, sweetheart. So many cows. You look worried. That's because I am worried. About what? Well, I'm worried about if your mom's going to take Amos for walks or if she's going to water the flowers. The ones you didn't tear up? You saw that, huh? Uh-huh. You worry too much. Well, that's my job, sweetheart. I'm unhappy too, you know. It's a beautiful fly you have there. Thanks. I don't think I've ever tied a fly quite that nice. Take after your grandfather. Why did you call him Opti? Short for Opti the Mystic. Because he was always spouting Indian lore. Of course, he thought the name was a compliment. Opti Mystic. Ah. Did I ever tell you about the first time you and he met? No. You were about three weeks old. And I walked into the nursery, and he was holding you in his arms. <laughs> and he was showing you a picture of a trout. Really? Yeah. Now, the funny thing was, you were looking at it. Let's cast. I will make you brooches and toys for your delight. A bird song in morning, starshine at night. I will make a palace for you and me of green days in forest and blue days at sea. Why did you stop fishing? What do you mean? You haven't fished much since I've known you. Well, your mom doesn't like to fish, and <laughs> fishing alone's no fun. And we've always lived too far from Opti to see him more than a few times a year. Does that make you mad? No. Your mom and I are different in a lot of ways. I guess that's, that's just part of being married. They say opposites attract. How are you and mom different? Mom and I come from different worlds. Neither one of us is quite comfortable in the other's world. Is that why you're getting a divorce? I don't know, sweetheart. Maybe. 
They didn't own the land because they didn't think that anybody could own land. But they lived here. And the English came, took their land, forced them away from their homes under reservations. What's wrong, honey? I don't want you or Mom to send me away. Oh, Megan, that's not gonna happen. Yes, it will. It's already happening. When we get back, Mom will be gone, and I won't have a home anymore. Oh, Megan. I'll either live with you, or I'll live with her. And things will never be the same, ever again. You know, Muggs, things don't always turn out the way we want them to. I know that you want your mom and I to get back together, honey. But, you know, we don't always know what's best. God does. Sure he does. Then why won't he make things better? I don't know. But, you know, God does things that, that we don't always understand. Why did he let this happen? He didn't have a choice, Maggie. Your mother and I are getting divorced, honey, and, and there's nothing that anybody can do to change that. But it's not your fault. And it's not God's fault. It's just the way things have to be right now. But I promise you, Okay? In spite of everything that's happening, your life is going to be okay. It's going to be terrific. You're just saying that. No, I'm not. You're just lying to me so I'll feel better. Honey, I don't lie to you. That's all you ever do. You said fishing would make things better. You said by the time we got here, things would be different. Well, Maggie, I, I hoped that they would. You made a promise and now you broke it. What promise? Your pinky promise. You made a pinky promise. Don't you remember? You swore to me once that you would never get a divorce. I asked you what divorce was, and you told me, and you said that that would never happen to us. Sweetheart, you were five or six years old. I don't care how old I was. You lied to me. I don't want to be like other kids in the school. I don't want to have two beds and two houses and never know where I live. Sweetheart, I promise I'm going to make it up to you. I don't believe in your promises. I don't believe in you. I hate you worse than God. I'm so sorry. Oh, baby.